Hello everyone, welcome to our channel and in this lecture we are going to talk about some technologies which are behind cloud computing. So in the previous lecture we have seen the basic overview of cloud computing and what really a cloud computing means. So in this lecture we are going over main technologies that is responsible for implementing the cloud computing in your organization. So without further ado, let's get into it. So there are so many technologies works behind the cloud computing platforms which makes them more flexible, reliable and usable. So these are the four main technologies that I have given here. Virtualization, SOA which is service oriented architecture, grid computing and utility computing. So what really are these that we will see one by one. So the first one is virtualization. So the virtualization is a technique which will allow us for sharing a single physical instance of applications among the multiple organization. So as I have given in this figure, this is the virtualized cloud model in which we are sharing the single network and storage system to the multiple virtual machines by using this virtual infrastructure as I have given in this figure here. So we can access our applications by using the virtual machines from anywhere in the world. You just need internet for that. So it does this by assigning a logical name to a physical resource and it will provide a pointer to that physical resource whenever it is required. So the multi-tenant architecture will offer the virtual isolation among these multiple tenants. So hence the organizations can use and customize their applications as though they each have their instances running. The next technology is service oriented architecture. So this service oriented architecture which help us to use the application as a service for other applications regardless the type of the vendor or a product or a technology. So therefore it is possible to exchange the data between applications of different vendors without additional programming or making the changes to services. So as you can see in this figure, this figure will elaborate you the concept of service oriented architecture in which it will provide an integration platform to use the application as a service for other applications. So this was all about service oriented architecture. The next technology is grid computing. So the grid computing refers to a distributed computing as the name suggests in which the group of computers from multiple locations are connected with each other to achieve a common objective. So these computer resources are heterogeneous and graphically dispersed. So the basic concept you can get from this figure that I have given here. So here the multiple computers are getting connected by using the grid computing which can work together to achieve the similar task. So this breaks complex tasks into smaller pieces which are distributed to CPUs that resides within this grid. And the last technology is utility computing. So the utility computing is based on a paper use model. So it offers computational resources on demand as a metered service. So cloud computing, grid computing and managed IT services are based on the concept of utility computing. So utility computing means you will have to pay as per your using the computing power as well as the storage from the cloud vendors to reduce the IT cost for implementing the cloud computing service in your organization. So this was all about some basic introduction about the technologies behind cloud computing and how they work to make cloud computing more flexible, reliable and usable. So if you like this lecture, please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates. And don't forget to follow us on our social media that I have linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.